All right, welcome back to episode three of what is literally the best show on YouTube, all right? The very best. Like, I, it's possible that someone else is out there better than me, but I haven't seen him, all right? So it don't count. Okay, uh, if we're going to cover, like, everything that's happened over the last three weeks, the uh, the 40% pump, you know, the China news, all the FUD with all the exchanges, everything, the, uh, the dumb paper about like one whale pumping you know bitcoin back in 2017 all that we'll, we'll, we'll get into it we'll cover it and uh i don't know get to some user comments some uh, some viewer comments from uh, last week and stuff like that okay so as you can see from the uh, portfolio we're up like uh 11 from uh three weeks ago when i last posted this all right, so one of the reasons why I've been gone is because this thing has been a ride, okay? I was up like 30% at some point, and then I, you know, blew it all. You know, if, like when this when this happened here, when this uh, dump happened here, you know, we'll get into this, but when, th when this happened, I totally got liquidated, bro. <laughs> Luckily, uh, Deribit refunded everybody because you know, this scam wick wasn't supposed to happen, so. But anyway, we'll get into that later. Uh, looking at the chart, let's see. Last time I made one of the, one of these videos, the uh, the candle was right here, right the twenty second. I think that was the last day that I posted. I was short. Obviously, because you know the chat says says so, right? But something happened, right? Something magical happened. I woke up one day, and this happened, right? The entire profit that I was sitting on just you know disappeared, right? It vanished. <laughs> so you know, a part of me was thinking, wait, what is what is going on here? It doesn't matter, right? The candle flipped green. We got a long signal, so I went long, right? I recovered. You know, this is the candle where I made that, you know, the quote unquote thirty percent from uh, my entry, which was like this, this, uh, this place here. You know, it, it, it wasn't a bad move. I was feeling kind of euphoric. Candle stopped right here, though, right, right at this line, so. Of course, you know, dumb me was thinking, hey, you know, I know it's not red yet, but I, this is probably the, you know, the top. It's gonna reverse, you know, just, just, you know, hold back some, you know, some ammo and you know, just, just go short. And and of course, you know, fucking <laughs> Bitcoin pump like another twenty percent. Uh, I don't even know what this is. Was it twenty percent? Yeah, twenty percent. Uh, unluckily, you know. It was a it was a, a really bad trade i basically squandered all the money that it made long in here 30 percent gone it's all right though i ain't pissed but i managed to uh trade my way back back to original equity of course i learned i learned my lesson you know don't short green candles <laughs> follow your trading plan look see the worst thing about margin trading all right is that we're all like super greedy, right? So even when we have the perfect strategy, literally telling you what to do, what not to do, just follow like basic you know, stuff, you still, the biggest challenge is just your self-control. But anyway, uh, this this you know move here is basically what I've been trading over the, over, over the past you know, three weeks. Recouped some equity. Uh, of course, you know, this, this scam break happened, like I said, I was long, so, you know, this, this happened, I got liquidated, mad, but Deribit decided to eat the loss. Interesting thing, though, about, about this, this, uh, this wick is that, like, a lot of weird, shitty shit has been happening with exchanges over the past week, right? And, uh, and, uh, you know, I have a saying, right? I call it, I call it godson's razor it's kind of like occam's razor but you know i came up with it but anyways yeah basically the saying is like don't attribute to stupidity in crypto 
what could be explained by malice, right? So I, I'm not like a conspiracy theorist or anything, but when literally, you know, FTX, this scam wake happened because of Coinbase, you know, BitMEX decides to dox everybody's email accounts, you know, uh, uh, sorry, sorry, yeah, FTX got hit by like 150 million dollar lawsuit because of, you know, apparently they were manipulating markets, counter trading their customers and that kind of thing, which is, you know, that's like, you know, commonplace. Every, every exchange does that. That's how they market make the, you know, the exchange for you so that there's, like, you know, liquidity and, and stuff. And then, of course, some guy, you know, published a, a a paper uh, alleging that like a single whale was was the reason why Bitcoin pumped in 2017, right? That the, the, the massive rally was because of one guy. So all this weird shady shit happening in in the last week has got me like you know worried because I'm, I'm I'm thinking, you know, what's going on here? Like who's who's behind this? Well, you know, of course, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, so we'll we'll let it go. Like even CME had a scam wick. Like how does that happen? How exactly does, you know, this like this uh, the, these guys who are supposed to have this, uh, you know, more liquidity, be more stable. You know, the, I remember when it launched, the guy said, "Oh, we're gonna tame Bitcoin." How how, how do they also have a scam wick, right? So I'm thinking a lot of weird, shady stuff is going on, and we're gonna see a lot of crazy moves in the future. But to answer the question of why Bitcoin pumps, right? People need to un understand some very basic stuff. Bitcoin pumps because people buy it, all right? It's very simple. And I'll show you something. We've been making fun of, you know, backed for not having any, any volume, not doing anything whatsoever. But something happened over the past, you know, three weeks, right? It went from like $2 million daily volume to popping off 4.8. On the 23rd right now if you go back to the chart and look at that 23rd is the day Bitcoin dumped took that massive hit broke supports and went down 8% right 23rd let me move this over here so you can see it 23rd now if you ask yourself hmm what when next did Bitcoin have, uh, sorry, back to have a massive volume, right? $10 million daily volume on the 25th. Wow, look at that. The day Bitcoin pumped 20%, right? It's not, it's not, it's not like rocket science. This is the reason why Bitcoin pumped. This is the reason why it's it's been rallying. There's this, uh, this uh, chart was from this account called Backspot. So, you know, go go follow them uh, f that's probably like gonna be the next uh, the next uh, sort of hidden indicator for p people trading Bitcoin if you see massive moves on backed right you know something's coming up right uh, yeah so that's the update some guy asked me to re-upload episode one because of the volume issue uh, I appreciate the feedback I will definitely I just didn't know how to increase the volume and I thought you know I'll, I'll just leave it like that because I'm gonna be making more of these anyway so but yeah I, I'll probably try to re-upload the episode and just uh, use some kind of software to increase the volume I appreciate the feedback and uh, thanks for subscribing oh yeah um, also Epstein didn't kill himself <laughs>